Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial on 360 degree panoramas. Now, once you have uploaded the photographs that you have taken to your computer, it's a three step process to create your 360 degree panoramas. The first step is to upload your program Microsoft Image Composite Editor, and you'll often heard it referred to as Microsoft ICE. So what you need is to find your photographs, which happen to come up because I, I checked it earlier on. So you highlight your photographs, hit open, and Microsoft ICE will grab those in images, stitch them together, together and create a rectangle. Now this rectangle, um, if one used the attachment that I showed you earlier on, on your tripod, you will get a perfect 2 to 1 ratio, 2, um, uh, two widths to 1 height uh, proportion. But having not used that, just simply using my um, uh, my own process, uh, there are slight imperfections which later on we will correct in Photoshop. So it will be a few more seconds and then you'll see the rectangle will come up on the screen. And there we have it. The few imperfections I'm talking about is at the bottom of the screen. You can see this will be black when you see the product in Photoshop. There's some of my shadow here that I I'd want to get rid of. I probably will want to darken the sky a little bit, sharpen, etc. So the next step here is to uh, create a 100% quality picture and then export to your program. And it will go back to the original file where your photographs exist. And there it is on the side here, stitch. So we hit save. Now this can take up to five or six minutes. I'm going to pause this recording and we will continue in Photoshop. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. And what I'll do is open up the file. On the left hand side here, you'll see the, the, the rectangle that came directly out of Microsoft ICE and on the right is the edited version which I'll show you in a minute. So let's open the unedited version. The computer is running a little bit slow with these various programs um, I have sitting waiting. And there you have the, uh, the raw stitched um, rectangle that came from Microsoft ICE. The bottom you can see the black. I will try and get rid of that by using a similar color in the area. I'll try and remove the, I will remove the um, shadow and I'll get rid of this little pop-up and I'll probably darken the sky and sharpen. Um, but the, the most important um, you, thing you need to do here is go to the image size and you'll see the, the proportion here. You need to create um, a proportion where the width is double the size of the height in order to achieve a perfect sphere. So what I do is I change that to 18,000 by 9,000. It changes the proportion slightly, but it's really unnoticeable. But one has to watch that just in case the figures are too distorted and then you can come up with some other plan. So there you have the, um, the correct rectangle size, uh, but the unedited version. So we will um, go to the, un to the edited version now, just to show you what it looks like. And I would say it, uh, this is running at about a third of the speed as my normal computer. And there you have the um, product that we will take to the next stage. A lot sharper. In fact, if I go to actual pixels, you can get an idea. Maybe I didn't even sharpen it. So let's try sharpening it one, de one thing, one degree. And it, it, 
it's quite amazing to to be able to read Oktoberfest, and that's right at the other on the on the other side of Richmond Street. So that's it for the Photoshop uh, portion of the process, and we'll go to the next one now. Okay, we're now at a site called 360cities.net, where you upload the photograph that we had previously um, corrected in Photoshop. So we upload the photograph, and we go to Browse to find the photograph. And in this case, it doesn't um, default to the um, previous search that I did, so we will have to be a little bit patient here and wait for this um, to take place. It's very slow once again, but we shouldn't take us too long to get there. So I have it in a file called Videography Club under Panoramas, Spheres and Video Videography Club Presentation, Victoria Park, Rectangles, and here you can see the um, the product that we edited. So now you hit open. And now the image is being uploaded. You can put a title Victoria Park Entrance, London, Ontario. And this can take a while to upload. Um, initially it will show upload complete, but then there's another five or ten minutes to put it actually into the spherical form. And we're not going to wait for this to happen. What we're going to do is go straight to the finished product. So I'm going to pause the recording now. Okay, yeah, you have it. Um, you'll see it a little bit down in the order of things that I've been doing lately. Um, I did upload this a while ago. So now we go to view the panorama. Maximize the screen. And what you initially get is a cylindrical panorama of, of what you've produced. But they're very clever. They give you an option to go full screen. And then we have to allow this for whatever reason. Thank you very much, uh, Internet Explorer. For some reason or other, this is starting to... Uh, cause problems. So we'll try that once again. And I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, here we go. You can see the panorama. The details are pretty clear. There are a couple of imperfections not using the um, uh, tripod head that I've spoken about. You can see the line there. But generally, I'm very satisfied with the results I get using my handheld camera. And uh, we can, again, zoom in to look at the details in the background here. So there you have it. A spherical panorama. And what I'm going to do is, after this, show you a couple of more examples. Here is a, a fun one I did with my daughter and her... Uh, guy friend, her boyfriend. I just got them to move around as I took the different pictures. So you can do some fun things with this. And that worked quite well. Um, there are many, many examples to show you, but I'm, I'm going to stop at this point. And if anyone's interested, I can give them the site so they can look at my um, various examples of uh, panoramas. The one thing I do want to show you is my Street View panoramas, which I have uh, uploaded to Google Street View. Um, the amazing thing here is how many of these spheres have been viewed worldwide. I've, I have 81 spheres, 89,000 views, and and at at some other time, if um, if it's interesting enough. I will demonstrate how we upload these to to Google. One thing I did want to show you some bizarre panoramas where the hits were went went berserk. For example, this one taken in winter, uh, the Memorial Cups coming up, 
14,500 people have viewed this. And what you can do is you can click to the next position, which is in front of the Budweiser Gardens, and and really have fun with um, moving around and checking out the whole area. So that's it, folks. Um, I'm going to finish off with a video I took with my um, new Nikon D7100, and hope you enjoy it.